What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we have the Satella Knights to talk about. Uh, we talked about them before, and uh, I don't know, were there four of them? I think we talked about, I think there were like three effect monsters and then an XC monster for them. Uh, this time, I believe we have three more cards to talk about for them that were revealed in Dulce Advent, since all the cards, as you can tell from uh, all the videos I've uploaded, and there's a lot of cards, I think pretty much the rest of them, have been revealed for the Dulce Advent. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about these cards. Alright, first up we have uh, Satella Knight Sham. It is a uh, level 4 light, 1400 attack, 1800 defense. Its effect is you can only use the effect of Satella Knight Sham once per turn. If this card is summoned, you can inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. So yeah, it's just kind of a burn damage card, really. And uh, it wouldn't be too hard to use either because the Telenites are, if you haven't been able to notice really from the artwork alone, very similar to Constellar. So they can bring each other out very easy and everything too. And uh, yeah, this one is just basically able to do some burn damage to your opponent. Not too bad really. I mean, you know, if you want to do some extra damage, but uh, yeah, not, not really bad on that one. And then uh, let's see, we have a Satellanite Unk. Uh, un un I, I, I honestly... Not really sure. Can you, does that surprise anyone? Anyway, it is a light level for uh, 1,800 attack, 1,000 defense. Its effect is you can uh, only use the effect of uh, this Satellanite uh, once per turn. If this card is summoned, you can send one Telenite monster from your deck to your graveyard, except uh, itself. <laughs> so you can tell I'm trying to dodge saying its name again. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, pretty cool as well because you're whenever it is summoned, you're able to get one of the Telenites monster from your deck and uh, send it to the graveyard, which can come in handy for some other plays. And also it has 1,800 attack, so not too bad. It's, of course, like I said, it's pretty easy to swarm the field of these guys, and it can set up some plays uh, with that sort of effect. So yeah, I can't wait to try this one out as well. I've been testing them out so far on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Uh, I was going to do a deck profile really soon on that, as I promised for many other things, uh, but I guess now I'll go ahead and wait for these cards to come out on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or something that way I can do a deck profile. So I guess we'll push that back until uh, hopefully we'll have the rest of these cards on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or something. And then the last card we have is the Telenite Factor. It is an equip card for them, and I gotta say that artwork looks freaking awesome. That just looks really neat. Uh, let's see, the effect is equip only to a Telenite monster you control. Uh, the first part of it is that it gains 500 attack and defense. Also, it cannot be affected by your opponent's card effects. And then the second part is if you control a non-Telenite monster, destroy this card. Uh, yeah, just able to power up basically when you're telling out monsters and also you know it, it won't be affected by uh, your opponent's card effects not too bad i mean i wonder if, how useful that's going to be you don't really see equip cards too often these days i mean it's mainly normal knights and stuff so i'm glad to see another equip card for them uh other than that uh yeah i, I want to test this card out before i say too much on it but it could really come in handy of course given one of your monsters and attack boost and then also making it where they're infected by effects, so that's not bad. And But the, I guess the downside is if you control a non-Telenite uh, monster, then uh, you destroy this card. But, uh, yeah, I mean, more likely you're going to have Telenite monsters anyway. Especially since we're getting more of them. It was a little bit more of a pain back then because there's only, like I said, there was only like three of them and then the XC monster. But now, of course, at least we have five, and uh, hopefully we'll get more in the future, and then, of course, more uh, XC monsters in the future as well. But yeah, what do you guys think about these cards so far? I think they're pretty good. I think they'll be a great additions for the Telenite archetype. Uh, they're, that archetype's actually really fun to use. I have been testing out a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, like I said, and can't wait to try out these new cards. But yeah, I wonder what you guys think about these, of course. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to come and subscribe. Also, tell me what you uh, think about the Telenite archetype as a whole. Like, have you tested them out so far? What do you think of them? Do you think that they're going to be really awesome and uh, cool, you know, worth using or or not? You know, and give reasons why. So, always thank you for watching. All the info will be in the description, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.